Hello! Yeah. Привет! Добрый вечер! Добрый день! Whichever it happens to be for you. Um, but look what Polly brought me to put on my desk. Lily's of the Valley has brought and I already put a picture up on my um, Facebook and on my blog. I love the scent of Lily's of the Valley. It just reminds me of my grandmother and a scent that she wore. It's in Russian perfume. I think it was called Lily's of the Valley in Russian. But I just love it. And I was playing around with my... Well, I'll include a link to uh, the blog post so you could see. I was playing around with some Polaroid filters for my Nikon. I'm doing this one-handed, sorry. So these are the filters. And I use the 10 time, 10 times, which I don't want to touch the actual lens. So it screws on, oh, it's dusty, I have to wipe it. It screws on to my camera lens, and then you get this fabulous detail. Love it. So I'm going to pop outside, and I will take you guys with me because I want to let the chickens out. Um, because the yesterday I could not let them out. We didn't know what time the lawn people were coming, which is kind of a pain then you know what. So let's go get the girls out. They've already given us two eggs this morning, a blue and a green. And um, maybe I'll sit outside for a few minutes, enjoy the gorgeous weather. We got some more tomatoes. Oh, I need to water this stuff. And, oh, sorry. I'm blocking the whole sun. Hi Moses, you don't like the chickens, do you? Hey girls. So we got some tomatoes. You know what? I might get the dill out of the way because I don't want them to eat that. Hi girls. Hello. It rained last night, so I think there'll be some worms for them to eat. Just don't touch my tomatoes, okay, girls? Hey, Aitza. It's Nina, Janet, and a local. What the fudgicles was that? Weird. Frolicking chickens. Moses is hiding from them, and I did pick up all the plants that we haven't planted yet. Oh, my toesies. I need to paint them. Yeah, I'm kind of white. <laughs> Moz, Moz, where are you? Mosey, come here, Mosey. Moses, where are you? He's not fond of the chickens at all. The other dogs don't care. That's Omelette, she's the biggest one. And that's Yaitza. Look at her. They love foraging. Eh, eh, eh. No, no, not in the garden. Hey, get out of the garden. I'm going to have to shoo her away because I don't want her eating the... Oh, there they are. Wow, the mint came up like weeds. That's Heather. Oh, look at the spring onions. Okay, that's weeds. Yeah. 
This is where the carrots were last year. That's nugget. That's nugget right there. I don't think they know their names, obviously, but well, here's one. Hey! That's Nelly. Nelly's the only one that's molting so far. Hey, Nelly. Hi. Hi. Oh, your skin's all red, honey. Is your head bleeding? Hey, get back over here, girls. I want to check on her. It's got two eggs from the coop. I'm going to go wash them and put them in the fridge. So we've had five eggs so far this morning. Mossy. So three of the chicks, three of the girls are in the coop eating worms. And three out here eating worms. <laughs> okay, you girls, find some cicadas. Have a fabulous snack on those. I'm thinking of putting some rocks in between my raised beds. Because it's all just weeds now. What do you guys think? Put some dark rocks in between. Some of that tarp paper and rocks will make it easier and won't get muddy. Gosh, they can be busy for hours. All right, I'm gonna go wash the eggies and probably be back and check on them. Hi! Yeah, like they even care. I talk to them. All righty, more later. Stay in the yard, girls. Not that I think this needs to be said, but for those of you who have blogs and get spammed comments, all you have to do is go to your comments section in your, on at least on Blogger, go to your comments and go to spam, because they get flagged. Uh, they're the anonymous posters right there. And I get hundreds of them. The funny thing is, is most of them are written by those who don't who are not native English speakers. So the translation is all wonky and there's usually a link embedded somewhere or they tell you to go to their site or ask supposedly ask your question. It's all baloney. Don't bother. Just delete it. Um, you have two ways to delete. You can either go here and delete or when you get the message, um, if you get automated emails sent to you, uh, go to delete, make sure it's a permanent delete, there's a checkbox for that, and that way you could just filter it out. I'm not going to close my comments to those who are genuine posters, and I certainly don't want to make everybody, anybody, have to go through that rigmarole of having to type in those weird characters, which, I'm sorry, I, half the time, I can't even tell what the heck it's asking for. I know you've all seen them. So, oh, and the sun just came out again. So I just periodically go through, clean this garbage out of there. It's like, it's like junk mail, essentially. It's the electronic junk mail. I just go through, clean it out. Never, ever, ever, ever click on any of those links. But I do find it funny that I will post something, and some of my blog posts really are just photographs. Like, I will post a photograph. Sometimes I write something below as a caption, but a lot of times I don't. And then somebody will leave me a comment. Wonderful piece of writing. Really? Because I did not write anything. So you could tell that those are all spammed, spammed, spammed. So easy to clean up. Oh, I better erase some stuff on my card. It looks like I'm flashing at two minutes left. How the heck did I record 46 minutes in three days? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take a break here. And oh, you know what? 
I'll put in something that I know those of you who are following my daily vlogs, vlogs noticed that there was no vlog yesterday. Um, I'm not even going to explain why, but the day kind of got away from me, and yeah, no vlog. But there was one thing that I filmed yesterday, which well, I will put right here, and it's the instructional video on how to change a toilet paper roll. Well, looky, looky. Apparently, my spouse thinks that this is enough toilet paper to use. Although, he might have used some off the roll that he pulled out of the cabinet, which is right next to it, yet not changed it. So, I will show this demonstration for the benefit, hopefully for the benefit of those, all of those who have an issue replacing toilet paper roll. This particular design is spring fed. Push in towards the middle to remove the toilet paper roll your spouse wants you to recycle for their craft room. Pick up a brand new one. My preference is over. Insert. And load. Now that wasn't complicated, was it? No. Yet you'd be amazed at how many times I find this type of setup. This left on the roll, because really, who could wipe what with this? Or worse, sometimes it's a complete empty roll. Useful in the craft room, we found way, all sorts of ways to use these. But not really useful when you need to go potty, is it? So hopefully this will help all the mothers today, because today is Mother's Day. Now, mothers, feel free to share this with the culprits in your household who refuse to change the toilet paper roll.